Hey guys, Dale here, back with some more RimWorld, and uh, just in time, it looks like Faction Assault, League of Brucha Bonbo, I'm going to have to rename some of these factions, and the Grey Bone Clan. Uh, so, a group of Outlanders from League of Whatever and the Grey Bone Clan have arrived nearby. Outlanders from League of... and Goblins from are about to fight fiercely, fiercely. Their target is not you. Well, we need to like, uh, not fire at will, get in our base away from these goblins. <laughs> and where's the, where? Okay, so there's like six of you and there's like a whole horde of goblins, 10 goblins, okay. Uh, We'll have to watch this, but uh, in the meantime, uh, what was I doing? Okay, so I put a caravan hitching spot. So if you don't have like an animal pin handy, um, animals will get brought to a hitching spot and they'll just be like stuck in a radius around it. But I did set us up, uh, set up a grow zone for tall grass and I moved our hay grow zone here. I figured out why, um, our animals weren't showing up so we had like all these caribou we had the hair and then we had a lorian stag and when i went over to the lorian stag it was like invisible and not interactable so that was like a remnant from the lord of the rim mod that i must have like partially deleted but didn't completely delete so as soon as i went in and like deleted the remaining deaths around it the rest of these animals started showing up and uh then I remembered that we had turkeys on the map, so we're gonna like train some of these. Uh, but yeah, we are gonna watch these goblins fight, I think. Okay, so you guys are free and clear. Um, let's restrict you guys to home. And Owen, why don't you talk to our guest? Okay. Oh, they're gonna. Are they, like, pausing right there? Um, okay, maybe I make a new zone. Expand area one. And, like, this is area one. And everyone is restricted to that. Okay, so what can we sell? We need those aquamarines for cooling. Sapphire, Aquamarine, Tiny Soft Pelt, Huge Thumbo. Uh, we'll hold on to everything we got you. We don't really need anything. So, okay, goblins. Oh, I think they're just like gathering for a little while. And then eventually they will like go meet in combat. What did the quest say? Messages. Okay, it doesn't say how soon the assault will start, but it is like nighttime now. So maybe they're waiting until like morning. Let's speed things up, we'll go to speed three. Okay, they're beginning their assault. And you know, if it weren't for friendly fire, I would like help you guys. Oh, Fluffy, I wonder if that's named after the mod author. Um, okay, uh, we will go ahead and say schedule or, yep. Yeah. Your attack angered. They are. They now list you as your tar as the target. Okay. Well, here we go. We'll take out some of these goblins. We'll make it like a little bit more of a fair fight for them. Okay. Go ahead and release. So. What, there's four of you? There were six of you. Okay, there's five. Did one of you guys go down? I 
and they are like beating this goblin to death okay and they are leaving the map okay interesting i didn't think we would get like a faction assault like this early but we are playing randy random um i don't think i mentioned that in like the last two videos randy random 275 map um, we're on adventure mode. We'll probably crank that difficulty up a little bit when we get more established. We'll see how that goes. Uh, things that I did off camera, I queued up this so that we could train, get some turkeys, get some turkey eggs. Um, and then I put some meditation spots down. Uh, that's like pretty intense looking when I select them all. Uh, it looks like no one well today no one's meditated at it but we don't have any anima grass grown so and zero progress towards it uh oh we can slow this back down let's see how many blocks we have we have 340 uh what is the range range is good okay oh and we are getting some marble blocks as well tame turkey visitors what are these are these drow yeah drow and they all the drow visiting our colony have been wearing burkas so what is your deal perfect bunker female supremacy sounds very drow very perfect perfect drow on point supremacy darkness tumbler yes yes whoever does the drow mod did a great ideology for them uh, narrative yester was born under the earth at the center of the world she blessed those closest to her uh, in the deepest valleys and tunnels yester created light so that humanity could know yester um, through the shadows light creates the faithful fought the unbelievers and yester said fight them everywhere in my name until i am worshipped throughout the universe and true peace may finally reign so yester master of light uh uranus uh, mother of femininity a terrace creator of violence um nocturnal unearthing cognitor snipe slinger dominant cheese is the leader i feel like that is uh a little meanie uh, they have no venerated animals but uh, they have a burqa as preferred but it's relaxed it's not like a strict adherence to wearing a burqa okay like we did we get a turkey animals yeah we got a turkey nice uh, and there's lady turkey right there uh, what else is going on Tyrion will, Tyrion will trade. Uh, I guess we can just like go ahead and unforbid all this stuff. We will do it once we have um, the stove top and then we'll make the tables and then we'll do the walls. Okay, so we still, we don't have much to trade, so like, whatever. Uh, oh, we ended up with some ambrosia from those goblins. Get rid of that. Okay, we are researching alchemy, and then we'll be able to do steel. I do want these elven walls. Um, and we also need to research magical lighting, gem cutting, magical temperature. We don't need magical lighting. But I just noticed like all this thrombo meat, just like chilling, not really chilling, rotting. Okay, bills, let's do um, simple meals forever this will be um no vegetarian or animal products this will be no animal products oh not forever do that for now
much wood do we have? Ooh, not very much. We have used a lot of wood. Okay, let's do our planning and we will chop some trees where future buildings are going to be. I want to kind of like keep it very forested in the city since we're elves or, you know, half of us are. Okay, that should be good for now. Oh, I thought I fixed this. Okay, and our folks are growing stronger. So I'll have you learn your new ability. Let's have you increase your healing power. Uh, we'll have you do a magic missile. Felva, you're gonna learn to raise the undead, but then we're just gonna buff your like deadly torment ability. A wreck, you will do disease knowledge and we'll save a point so that you can learn regenerate next. Let's have you do animal empathy and then augmented. And let's have you do sniper training. Let's increase your face strike. And we will make your cleave more powerful. Cool. One thing that I completely forgot to mention the last two episodes and then most of this episode is um, our, I have a trees mod. Um, let me actually like go find the name of it. So I'm just like hopping over to Steam real quick. Uh, trees. Um, uh, Comingo's Majestic Trees. So, like, you can see that these trees are, like, huge and gorgeous. Um, part of the reason, the reason that most of these trees are, like, uh, red and orange is based on our biome, uh, but the uh, effect of these trees uh, is um, available in vanilla biomes with uh, Comingo's Majestic Trees mod. So um, in addition to supporting like this particular biome, some other biomes are, are supported and the medieval overhaul mod, I believe in the dark forest, the pictures of the dark forest make it seem like the trees also are set up like this where they're larger and then there's like a transparency effect when you like hover over them. Um, to me, it definitely makes it feel more like a fantasy game um, and the like fidelity of these like uh, tree models is like pretty awesome. I really, really like it. So, um, yeah, and I suspect that like whoever did uh, this like Majestic Trees mod, whoever did the trees for a medieval overhaul, maybe the same person because it seems like the same functionality, at least shared code or whatever. I love the modding community is so collaborative in RimWorld. Okay, getting our kitchen made. Oh, and that's the other thing that I wanted to show you was uh, making tanning liquor. We can make it from wood, we can make it from plants, we can make it from meat, but we'll go ahead and make it from wood and we'll do it until we have 50. And then we will Wait until we have like 35 to do it again. Awesome. Uh, dryad tree sprout. Let's go ahead and collect that. We'll have Arshana do it. We're going to have Arshana be the person who like connects with the tree also. So we'll have her plant it right away. Planning. Um, so we're, we have our anima tree here. Also, I have like updated anima. Uh, I think... I think the Majestic Trees mod does the Anima Tree, right? Yeah, it does the Anima Tree. It also does the Dryad Tree. Um, cool. And it, in addition to like the Aspen Forest from Regrowth, uh, it also has Alpha Biome support for the Ocular Forest. So those Ocular Forests are pretty nasty. Um, 
but I didn't feel like Alpha Biomes was necessarily like ripe for this playthrough. So seed, plant the seed right here. Prioritize planting and where is Tyrion? Oh, he's stargazing. I'm like, why is Norek doing all the crafting? All the construction. Wait, did you plant the, the thing? Wait, where did it go? For whatever reason, she just like gave up on it. Uh, seed, critical. Hopefully, someone will plant it, and then we'll just have to like pay attention, see what happens. Okay. You're planting the seed. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Arshana, like... Sorry to wake you up, but I need you to connect. Oh, it's a whole ceremony? Okay. So many things are just like completely like ceremonies now, and it surprises me. Okay, cool. And dryad type. I feel like uh, we'll do carrier for now. Except confirm. I'm gonna crank that up, and we're gonna have you change the cast type and then you can go to bed nice uh oh i didn't even like read that message so tree connection okay so there wasn't like a quality or like any other thing it's just like tree connection happened cool 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 tight 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 um well uh the last couple like episodes that I put up have been like super, super long. So I'm going to go ahead and like cut this one short here. Um, I'm going to try and keep them around the like 20 to 30 minute mark. Nice and aura, Aurora for our way out. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and like cut this one here. I'm going to keep playing and um, I'll start up the recording for another episode when something interesting happens. Uh, thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.